Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad 4.2.1 using Snowbreeze. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is go to this website because we're going to have to downgrade it. Because the Red Snow 4.2.1 jailbreak is not good at all. And so, it's it's tethered, so every time you turn it off, it you lose Cydia and all the apps you've downloaded. And it freaks out on you and you have to... It's it's a mess. So you only go to this website, FelixRunes.de, and once you're there, you click iPod firmware. Then you choose what you have. So for me, what I have is iPod Touch 3G, and you want to do 4.1 because that's what Snowbreeze works on. And then you download that. Oh, and you also you have to download it in Mozilla Firefox, otherwise it won't it won't download right. And see, as you can see, I already have it downloaded here. See, 4.1, and I have 4.2.1 because I tried Snowbreeze. I mean Red Snow, and it didn't work. So you go back to this website, and what you're also gonna have to go to is this website to download Snowbreeze. It's I hate with an eight snow with a zero dot com. So once you're there. Snowbreeze 2.1, you click download. It's going to take you to the screen. You click regular download, and you're going to have to wait 15 seconds, and then we'll download for you. And you don't need to be in Mozilla or Internet Explorer. It doesn't matter. Either one works. And so I don't want that, so I'm going to click out of it. But that's how you download it. And I have it downloaded here. And then what's going to happen is you're going to have a folder right here. Well, I'm just going to download it for you guys just so I can show you what you need to do. It'll be easier. Okay. So download regular download and I'll take you guys back when we're we download hello everyone I'm back and Snowbreeze is downloaded to the desktop which is where you want to download it just in case you didn't figure that out already and so once you get here you want to extract all extract and then it'll come up in here but it'll also be right there so when you click on it you want to drag this to the desktop oops drag it to the desktop like I did there and then once you drag it to the desktop it's here you can delete this and you can also delete this so next what you want to do is you want to open iTunes give it a sec iTunes takes up a lot um, so once you get in iTunes you want to plug in your iPod or iPhone or iPad whichever one you have but I have an iPod touch so you plug it in. This takes usually, I don't know, a minute. So it's censored. And, uh, see, it's available. I, since I already downgraded mine, it says it's the new ones available, but say later. So, once you get into yours, oh, and FYI, you can't downgrade it if you have an iPhone 4. So, just a little heads up. My friend tried to do it, and it's an error occurred. So, can't do it with an iPhone 4, but everything else you can. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm almost positive. And if it doesn't, leave a comment below, and I'll try and help you out. So, what you want to do is you want to restore. You want to hold shift, click restore. And you want to restore it. You go to your desktop, where it is. You want to restore it with the 4.1. So, restore with 4.1, you open it. Since I already did that, I hit cancel. That will take a while. And after you downgrade it it will erase everything off of your device and put 4.1 on no not this um so it will erase everything off your device and put 4.1 on and but then don't let it put everything anything back on since you're just going to be restoring it again so I'll exit out of here so then once once you uh, restore you want to open up Snowbreeze say yes it's not virus and then you hit okay Hit next. So what you want to do, hit next. Close credits. Okay. So, so what you do, you browse for your IPSW file. Your IPS, IPSW file is your 4.1 that you've already downloaded and uh, updated your iPod touch, whatever it is. So you want to open that up. I'll just do this since I can do it again. And it should say recognized because, and yes, just give it a second. 
because this is two, snow brace 2.1, so it's for 3.1 and 4.1. See? Verified. And then you click next. I would do extra mode, you can do more. And then general, whatever you want to do, you can look at it, enable background, you can do whatever you want. Doesn't matter, unlocks. Let's see if I, yeah. Custom packages, whatever, custom boot logos. Then you can hit build IPSW after you go through everything. And so you hit next. And this may take a while, so I'll be back when it's done. Hello everyone, we're back. And so once you finish Snow Breeze, a big screen should pop up saying okay. And then it will take you through all the steps that you need to jailbreak your, to put it in a jailbreakable state, which is DUF mode, I believe. And so then, and then this will pop up on your home screen. This right here, Snow Breeze. It will say Snow Breeze iPod Touch. And then once you're, once it out, you see, you see that and you get it out of where it downloads from. And then you can do the same thing. You can click Rift Shift, not Rift. Shift, restore, and then you find where you saved the Snow, Snow Breeze firmware, and you open it with that. And once you restore it with that, and that's why I told you not to put all your stuff back on it because you're just gonna restore it again. Once you do that, you can restore it again. Then it will download Cydia onto it, your uh, device, and it will make it so you have uh, you can access City Store and you don't have to do that funky turn it off thing like you would with Red Snow. So that's all you really have to do. It doesn't take as long, but it maybe it may, seems more complicated. <laughs> I can't talk. It's more complicated. It's not as complicated as it sounds. And then after you download it and see, you can see right here. Ooh, not build version. I didn't know you could do that. Can only do with that one. New, new discovery. Um, I don't know what AB one one seven means. And it's software version four point one, and it also is on my device. So, and then I can. Sh I know I'm gonna be switching over to the camera, which I can show you my device jailbroken. This is my jailbroken iPod Touch. And so I can all prove to you that it is jailbroken. And here's general. About, ooh, trying to look at the camera and work this thing. So about my iPod version. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it right there. It says 4.1. Maybe I could, yeah, I don't know. But it says 4.1. It's hard to see it. But it is 4.1, and I'll prove to you more that it's still working. And see, the app Cydia should pop up right there. Well, not right there. It should be on your home screen, but it's right here for me. Cydia. And then you can click on it, and it will take you... It takes a while to load, but I'm not going to let it... It takes like a minute, not even. And so then, that's, that's all, guys. So, thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up, and subscribe, and... Yeah, thanks for watching.